Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Mattis Luntet. This is Peter, my friend, Hello. photographer friend. Hello. Today we're going to take another photo walk and maybe also a little bit of photo talk. So called walkie talkie. Yeah, walkie talkie. <laughs> Today we are talking about the fundamental question in photography. Is the gear more important than photography or photos? But first things first, what camera did you bring today, Peter? <laughs> well, today I took the Fuji XS20, a little bigger than my usual street photographic camera. The that's reason, the Ricoh, right? Yeah, the that's GR. the Ricoh GR3X. The reason is that I wanted to test the wider angle. This is the 16 millimeter f1.4 lens. 16? Is it like is, It's like 24. 24. Yeah, it's like right. 24 on this end, because I'm not very used to using this wide, so I wanted to try that if I can do anything with this. Right, makes sense. Yeah, what about you? I, what I noticed is that the neck strap is pretty cool. Oh, what this, yeah, this was sent to me by uh, PGY Tech. I'll put the link down below, please check it out. Not an affiliate link or nothing. I like this strap, it's pretty nice. It has uh, quick release and everything. Oh, I didn't notice you have a camera with that too. <laughs> yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's a very small, Inconspic inconspicuous camera. It's my Sony a7 IV and the lens is <laughs> a 20 millimeter f 2.8 but I made a mistake today when I picked up the lens. I meant to take the new brand new Viltrox 40 millimeter f 2.5 but it looks exactly like this only the the print on the on the lens is different and I just didn't look you know I didn't pay any attention I just picked the lens from the from my lens cabinet put it on and now I realized it's the wrong lens but hey they, this it's can a, happen it's a lens anyway <laughs> it's a lens it's a lens at least it's a lens <laughs> all right now that we got the most important thing out of the way the cameras and lenses who are the photographers that you like or follow or, or your favorites? Well, that's a pretty broad question because I tend to like quite a bit of different photographers. But from anyway, mention genres. just few. Yeah, I will. I will. I'm just uh, thinking about from, well, street photography is something that I try to concentrate now when I do my everyday photography. So I would, I would say that, of course, the, 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 the camera a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. well, of course, the, the classic photographers like Gary Vinogrand, uh, Robert oh, Frank, yeah. Robert Frank, and then maybe the contemporary photographers like Martin Parr, for example, mm. is, is real good. And then there is this, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if the site is still on called In Public, which is Matt Stewart yeah. runs that. It used to be a real big thing. I think it's still... But Matt Stewart is a great photographer yeah, anyway. anyway. I like him. Yeah. I'll yeah. follow so him those too. Are, maybe those are the, the ones. And then, of course, there are a few photographers on YouTube that I like to follow, and one is, is Faisal Westcott, and then there's Mike Chudley is, is a very mm. good, which I like. And then there's this uh, couple, Jeff and Sarah uh, Asko, I think. That, yeah, Asko. They have a uh, channel called Walk Like Alice, which is... I, which I is, know, I know which, of the channel. Which is interesting. It's very good. And then, then there's actually, I came across a Finnish, uh, or actually a guy from New Zealand called Adam McIntosh. Well, Macintosh photo, and he has some interesting content. And uh, lucky, yeah. I but he lives here in. He lives here in. Yeah. I think he lives in Helsinki, and I'm actually going to meet him next week. Ah, talk interesting. To, talk to him about photography, and let's see. Maybe we do some content together. I don't know. It depends. Oh, it sounds but good. Maybe, maybe those. And of course, then I follow your channel. <laughs> <laughs> this channel, you know, you should too. If you don't regularly follow, you should do that. And you should also follow Peter's channel. So what about you? Um. I'm pretty much in the same like uh, genre as you, street photography, documentary. But I'm going to mention one photographer specifically. She is not into street photography. Her name is Katrin Koenig. I'm not sure if I pronounced the last name perfect, uh, perfectly or right, correctly. But I'm mentioning her because I 
simply don't understand her photography at all. But it's still interesting to follow her. And every time I'm looking at her work, I'm trying to figure out what goes on in her mind when she's sequencing her photos, because her work is, to me, pretty weird. But I think it's a good idea to look at uh, some photographer's work, even if you don't fully understand it, because it keeps your brain going and, and, and it makes you realize that you can do so many different types of photography. Yeah, I think that that's, if, if anything from this video you put in your mind, I think that advice is the real thing, because that is, that's a great advice to, to follow photo photographers that you don't understand, because that, that really kind of like makes you think very good piece of advice. Do you, Peter, know what cameras your favorite photographers use and do you even care? To be honest, I don't and it's not a big... You don't know or you don't care? Nah, both. <laughs> both, actually, yes. I, I, I really, it doesn't really matter. But there is one exception. If the camera is something that's not usually used in that particular genre. Let's say if, if there was someone, like there was someone who photographing the Olympic sports with an old gr Graflex or what? Speed Graflex. Speed Graflex. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think that's interesting. Then it's interesting if it's something totally, you know, yeah, different I than anybody yeah, else. Yeah. And then it might be interesting. Yeah, it makes sense. And if the camera really is something exceptional for that genre, yes. it is interesting to see how someone can use that kind of a camera lens for something that is yeah. that it's not usually used for. Yeah, and then same goes with lenses. It doesn't really matter what lens they use. But there was one Swedish bird photographer who used on a full frame body like something like 20 millimeter for bird photography. Oh, that's which interesting. Is, which, is, which is not the <laughs> usual way. But so, yeah, then it's interesting. Other yeah. than that, no. Can I ask you a question? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, good. What happens to your photography if you ignore photographers that don't use the gear that you like? Uh, well, I think it can potentially hold you back and hinder your progress as a photographer because inevitably if you do that, if you only follow the gear and not the, the photos or the pictures, you will inevitably kind of ignore also a lot of good photography if you ignore certain gear or certain photographers who use certain gear. And I think it's, I'm gonna say, it's, it's stupid to do that because it will hold you back and it will make you a worse photographer almost. Yeah, it's a good answer. I, I agree on that. So what another thing that you should take with you from this is don't follow the gear, follow the photos. I think we have pretty much established that we like photography and photos more than yeah. uh, gear. However, I'd like to ask, if I may ask. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, yes, you may. Does it, does it in, a, in your opinion, does it make any sense to talk about cameras and gear? Of course it does, because when you're looking for new gear, like when I was looking for what a, to... A new camera. A new camera, yeah, back in a year ago. Of course, I was you know, looking for gear videos and just to see how they perform and how the, what people think about them. And mm -hmm. then when I got one, I watched a few tutorials about it. So just to make it faster. Like a jump start. Yeah, to jump start to the, using the camera. Yeah. Of course, it makes sense. I, yes. But if you get into the rabbit hole of watching only those, that can be toxic in my opinion, to yeah, be honest. I agree. It, it takes you to the wrong path because Right now, I don't watch any gear videos at all. I also find it because I don't need anything. Yeah, pretty yeah. boring, actually. Yeah. I like to watch uh, on YouTube. I like to watch guys or girls who photograph and not talk about gear so much. And also, um, I had something on my mind, but now I, I forgot. Mulla äsken se mielessä, mutta sitten 
Oi, hei, mi, mitä? Ah. Voi sanoa. There's one thing though that I'd like to add. I think there is nothing wrong about just being a camera uh, camera enthusiast or a camera collector and not so much interested in photography. I, I think course. cameras are fantastic or fascinating things, mechanical things, especially older cameras. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you are, if you want to or like to develop or progress as a photographer, then I think you should follow more photography and not so much gear. Exactly. That's my message. Exactly. <laughs> I suppose that's a wrap today. Thanks guys so much for watching and remember to check out Peter's channel too and hope to see you soon in the next one. And thanks for inviting me again. It was hey, a pleasure. Always a pleasure making videos with you, talking and walking and whatever. Mitäs olisi kahvit? Lähdetäänkö kahvin? Kahvin paikka. Until the next one.